last week's unforgiving weather that left most of the megacity underwater and in misery also laid ruin on warehouses and storage places of produce and agricultural products. As a result, vegetable prices in public markets across the NCR have doubled. Amid this disheartening piece of news, a ray of hope shines through as cheaper rice for all people goes on sale in four Kadiwa stores in Caloocan, Malabon, Taguig, and in the city of Manila as we hear the full story from our Claisel Pardilla. The Department of Agriculture will officially launch its Rice for All program tomorrow. The agency aims to make well-milled rice available at a reduced price of 45 pesos per kilogram. This initiative is set to provide significant savings for consumers as the price of similar rice can reach up to 55 pesos per kilo in some markets across Metro Manila. Unlike the Project 29, which was restricted to senior citizens, persons with disabilities, four-piece beneficiaries, and solo parents exclusively, the Rise for All program opens up unfettered access to the general public. No identification is required for purchase. Under this new program, individuals can buy up to 25 kilos of rice at designated Katiwa stores located in FDI, Caloocan, Malabon, and at the Bureau of Plant Industry in Manila. Ang pinaka-objective nitong Rice for All uh, program ay magkaroon ng available na bigas na mas mura. Uh, isa to sa mga hakbangin ng ating pamahalaan na uh, mapababa yung epekto ng uh, food items sa inflation natin. So, mapababa yung uh, mga presyo. And of course, mahila nito yung uh, presyo rin sa pamilihan. In addition to the Rice for All program, the DA will also maintain the sale of rice at 29 pesos per kilo at Kadiwa stores specifically targeting the poorest Filipinos. The new operating schedule for 17 Kadiwa stores will be implemented starting tomorrow and will continue on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. The DA targets to open more Kadiwa stores to sell local produce at lower prices. At the Commonwealth market, the prices of some vegetables from Leticia have surged. What used to be 60 pesos per kilo of eggplant is now 120 pesos. The prices of chayote and carrots are no different. Bakit daw po? Kasi nabaha. Yung talong, yung mga puno na, no, na pagka bumabaha, namamatay daw. Kaya konti lang ang supply na dumarating. Vinny's budget for making tinola fell short. She only managed to buy chayote so she'll have to improvise and try to get some malunggay from the neighbor instead. Kunwari, bibili. Eh, pag hindi ka na malunggay, mga halagang 10 peso. Sige na, libre na. O. Kasi kapit bahay na. What used to be 120 pesos per tray for the smallest eggs sold by Mar is now 200 pesos. So one egg that used to cost 4 pesos each is now 6 pesos a pop. Parang kada deliver tumataas. Sa supply, pinukulang siguro. Kasi halos unti-unti na lang dumarating. Pagkulang ang budget na ito. Tipid-tipid. Dati kong dalawang tray, di ngayon yung isang tray, pinagkakasya hanggang, hanggang isang linggong budget. According to the Department of Agriculture, it is natural for egg prices to increase during the school season due to higher demand. Samples have been collected from three farms in Tarlac in connection with a potential avian influenza. Confirmatory tests are underway to identify the disease affecting the farms. If the tests confirm the presence of bird flu, immediate culling will be implemented to contain the spread. Authorities are maintaining strict monitoring in surrounding areas and there are assurances not to worry or be overly concerned about the supply of poultry products. Just wait for the result ng bae. Ang AI, madaling uh, supuin kumpara sa ASF. Dahil uh, ang AI, kailangan mo lamang ikal lahat yung mga manok, papahingahin mo yung uh, farm. Then after six months, pwede ka na mauli maglagay ng manok. The Agriculture Department has reported that the combined impact of the southwest monsoon and the super typhoon Karina has caused damage amounting to 1.21 billion pesos in the agricultural sector. High-value crops, including vegetables, have suffered losses totaling over 88 million pesos. Ano apekto nyan? Part ng Cordillera, part ng Mimaropa. We're happy na hindi masadong 
naapektuhan yung kalabarson. However, the DA remains hopeful that vegetable prices will stabilize as transportation and market operations normalize. Kalei Zalpardilia for the new and better Philippines.